So a basic overview of my tester coil. This is the bottom deck. And to illustrate the parts, these two microwave oven capacitors here and this string of three microwave oven diodes are a voltage doubler circuit. So they take the voltage directly out of my microwave oven transformers, which I'll show you in a moment, um, and they turn it, the AC into a DC voltage, and at the same time they double it. It's a DC pulsed voltage, so it flips the AC waveform. This sec the bottom section, it flips it up and adds it to the next peak. Um, now these wire-wound um, resistors, they're 100 ohm each. Um, they act as a ballast and uh, hold back a bit of current. And they also add a bit of induction inductance to reduce RF feedback, as do these RF chokes. They're just uh, approximately um, 100 turns or so of wire on of their actually recycled wire from the, a degas coil of an old TV. Um, Nothing's wired up properly as yet. I'm still in the first stages of, of um, putting on my new rotary spark gap. I'll illustrate and show you my old um, spark gaps uh, as well. This is about the fourth or fifth change of my Tesla coil, the, the generation change. Um, so we've got the DC output and this, oh, now, what I was talking about actually, this is my capacitor. Now, it looks like a wire wound, uh, a, a, a polyester and foil wound capacitor, but it's actually not. It's a MMC or a um, multi, uh, multi capacitor array. And I'll show you the inside of it. Remove all the contacts. There are screwdrivers, so we'll get back to that in just a sec. There's one there. Now, I've seen a lot of people use these, uh, make multi capacitor arrays with um, um, chopping boards like these. My initial, my first one actually was built on that chopping board just there, that's why it's full of holes. Um, but I found that they're bulky and uh, become, when you're doing a large array and you have to do multiple decks and this kind of thing. So instead, to make them more, more rigid, I've made my capacitor array just like this. Now there's five capacitors, sorry, four capacitors on each in each group with a um, 10 meg uh, 5 watt um, resistor across each one um, to help bleed the current. It still doesn't bleed very quickly so I still short everything out with a screwdriver on an earth to be safe. Um, and I will be increasing the size of this capacitor bank. As you can see there is quite a lot of room left up inside so that will be being increased in size. I do have double that in capacitors ready to go onto the array um, and I've the, made the piece of pipe the same length as the, the piece of pipe they're strapped to the same length as my pipe so it doesn't flop around too much now onto my my new rotary spark cap which uses a um, Piece, another piece of this chopping board nylon and I'm hoping it handles the temperature okay so I haven't run it yet and um, I'm hoping that it doesn't melt or anything I'll be running it in short bursts to see if there's any see how hot the contacts get um, this gap here is a safety gap it's not set as yet it's probably too close mm -hmm. it's made from two small brass doorknobs and the contacts for this are actually underneath 
on either side. Same setup as this. One of these is located on the bottom of that screw. Another one of these is located on the bottom of that screw. So they're facing in like that. Um, the reason I've got them on the bottom is the disc rotates in this direction. So if I have the contact, the, the two ball electrodes too close to the disc and it actually collides with the disc, it will actually come up from underneath of this bracket. So instead of it clipping it from downwards and pushing the bracket in and catching the disc even further, it will hit it from this direction and actually move the electrode out of the way. So it should cause it won't have any, it shouldn't have a catastrophic explosion of the disc or anything like that. And I will be putting a, a shrapnel shield over the outside of it as well. That'll be run off Variac to change its speed. Um, although to start off with I'll probably run it on full pelt and vary the voltage going into it to start off with. Um, well that's the bottom deck. I'll show you my some of my other spark apps. <laughs>